Yeah, we're doing good. I would say my wife and I are doing very well. Our communication is every day we're working on it. And I want to let you guys know I apologize for how the dinner ended last time I seen y'all. But you guys got to see I care for my wife. And Dr. Pepper, she has some concerns. And I said, OK, let's, let's, let's talk about it. She said, what bothers me, and, it, and it's clear, you belittle your wife and you make yourself seem more superior. So I said to Dr. Peppers, I said, no, I think you got the wrong perception of us. My wife is very reserved and I'm healthy. I speak a lot. I like to talk. We all know that. <laughs> and so if I'm talking a lot, it could seem like maybe I'm talking like trying to belittle you or something. I asked my wife, do I belittle you? And that's the same reaction I got. It was just a laugh and like, I can't believe your, your conversation was this. She said, I heard, I heard. Yeah. So I had to remind Dr. Pepper and, or tell her, I don't, it's cool that you heard, but I, I'm a grown man. And I don't do the he said, she said game. And I feel like as an expert, you shouldn't take the he said, she said. Get a good grasp of two people and then bring it, bring the man around. But don't go off of he said, she said, because Dr. Pepper's did it help me? Not at all. Wow. 90% of it was a waste. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I felt like it was a waste because I could have met with the expert and really talked about something that helps my, my marriage, but I didn't. We, it was more of me catching Dr. Pepper up because she had no clue of what was been going on, and she made it clear. Keep talking, Elijah Warren. If, if you're going to feed something to the experts, feed something that's going to help my marriage, not keep bringing negative <laughs> to us. OK, let's go. That's why I thought the, the expert with me and Dr. Pepper was such a waste. What's up? Wow. <laughs> we wanted to talk to you guys. Uh, we've been listening to your conversations. And we really think there's lots to talk about. So we want to go over all the couples and underline some advice, maybe. Don't look at me like I'm the first victim. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we'll make you the second. Oh, OK. What I did in my interview with Elijah Wan that he loved so much was um, to have him interpret what I was hearing for the people who watch him every day so that he can clear up from his point of view what his marriage is and is not and how it has changed from the beginning to this period. You may disagree on what was being said or what was shared with me, but we're really not here to go back and forth on that. The important thing is that the marriage is going well, that you care about each other, that you're feeling closer to one another. So to me, that's the win, regardless of anything else. Maybe our one-on-one, -on -one, she, she it didn't come out right. So I was happy that she, she cleared the air. But this is me and Katina's marriage. And this is how we get along. We can't shape it to make America happy or anybody else happy. We're going to shape it that makes her and I both excited to see each other. Nothing is always perfect. Your relationship's not perfect, and you know that, OK? But the one thing that I do know about you, Katina, is that you have resolution in mind. So irrespective of what's going on, your first thing is, how do we resolve this? How do I bring peace? That is a beautiful thing, and that's what you need in your, in your world. This woman is exactly what you need. I hope you're hearing me, boy. This woman is exactly what you need. Do you hear me? I always say, that's one of the yeah. best things I, I love about my marriage. And I, yeah. I, I'm not in love. But we resolve things. And I think it's because it's can in I, her. It's in I, her. Can so I she speak keeps to that real quick? Balance. You said, I'm not in love. Yes. Right? You committed to her? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely yeah. Do you want anybody else? No, I mean, well, no. I'm, I'm, I'm just married. asking you a question. Yeah. Just asking you. I'm just no, asking you. No, no. OK, no, all right, no. right, right, right. Love is making a decision to commit to fulfilling another person's legitimate needs. Mm -hmm. The feelings come after that. Right. And most people are in love before they think they are. Love's not a yes or no question. Love is something that grows. You yeah. know, you grow I, I feel more in love with my husband than I did in the beginning. Doesn't mean I wasn't in love in the beginning. It just gets bigger. Yeah, you're growing into it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You're not falling in it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. My feelings are growing every day for, with Katina, but love is a deep word. And I can't know if I can say the, the L word yet, but um, I am 100% committed to my wife. <laughs>